Welcome to the Great Exodus series. God's plan of rescue for his children. Let my people go. The path to Mount Zion. My name is Michael. I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And today our topic is Lazarus. Not the Lazarus who was raised from the dead, but the Lazarus at the gate. The story in the Bible about Lazarus and the rich man. Because the Lord told me to wake you up out of your complacency. You are not doing the right things in the moment. You are far away from being a true early Christian. Please listen to the story and act accordingly. So let us go to the Bible and to see what is written in Luke 19 following. Wait a second, wait a second here. Luke 16, 19 following. There was a certain rich man which was clothed in purple and fine linen and fared sumptuously every day. And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus which was laid at his gate, full of sores, and desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, the dogs came and licked his sores. And it came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. And the rich man also died and was buried. And in hell he lifted up his eyes, being in torments and seeing Abraham afar off and Lazarus in his bosom. And he cried and said, Father, Abraham, have mercy on me and send Lazarus that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue. For I am tormented in this flame. But Abraham said, Son, remember that you in your lifetime receivest your good things and likewise Lazarus' evil things. But now he is comforted and you are tormented. And beside all this, between us and you, there is a great gulf fixed so that they which would pass from hence to you cannot, neither can they pass to us that would come from hence. Then he said, I pray you therefore, Father, that you would send him to my father's house, for I have five brothers, that he may testify unto them, lest they also come into this place of torment. Abraham said unto him, They have Moses and the prophet, let them hear them. And he said, Nay, Father Abraham, but if one went unto them from the dead, they will repent. And he said unto him, If they hear not Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded, though one rose from the dead. Now, if we listen to this word, and we see that there is a Lazarus at the gate, and we see so many Lazarus at our gates. But we, also, we are rich in one form or another. We have access, we have funds, we can afford to have a TV, we can afford to have a good life. But in one form or another one we are rich, and we are not going to help. Then you see what the Bible is saying, what will happen to you. Always look out for the Lazarus at your gate. Always look out for the people that you can assist. So please come out of your complacency, out of your state of sleeping. Come out sleeping churches and bring forth the love of the Father into your neighborhood. Look for the Lazarus at your gate. Look for the children in plight. Look for the needy, for the nameless and faceless and help that everything will come together in love, unity and support. It is your access and your riches that can bring forth the people, that can bring them onto a new path. Please assist the people, help that everything go forth. Now it's a time to step forward. In our case, assist the plight of the children. I will put our Jesus and the Children Impact Week again in the first pin comment. Please read it, follow the link, 
and do your part. Come out of your complacency and look for the Lazarus at your gate. We have to change from sitting, from waiting to an active, faithful, strong life with a lot of power and spirit and truth. So please, people, understand the messages and come forth. You can do many things, even with a small amount, you can do many things. And we will allow the children to have access to education and to counseling and to health and to a new way of life in Christ Jesus. And you are called for us to assist. So please go to the first pin comment, read it and then follow the link and assist right now. Support the needy children. Thank you for watching and I love you all so dearly. Please walk with us the path to Mount Zion. Be part of triple slash com, our website. Be part of the movement. Watch the videos in our YouTube channel. There are hundreds of videos there, all with knowledge and wisdom. Please watch them. Get an understanding that we all have to stand at the base of Mount Zion at the sixth seal. And you can be part of it. Step forward into your glory and your power right now. Become a follower of the path and a supporter of the plight of children. Become a daily sacrifice of love. Every day do a righteous deed because the righteous deeds of the saints are the white garments that will get you into the rapture. Change your life from complacency to be an active Christian and start with doing it right now. I thank you all for listening and I thank you all for your help and your support and your donations. May God bless you and your family abundantly. Read the story about Lazarus at the gate in the Bible and then step forward into the light. Have a blessed day. My name is Michael. I am the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation and I am also the author of the Book of Love, the standard literature of Triple Grace. Please join us again tomorrow for a new topic. And I hope that you will understand our messages, that we are not doing the message for our own purpose, but to wake you up, all of you. And for all of this, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Maranasa. Have a blessed day.